Well, hi, this is Dan Sheffield, and this tutorial is about our world record speed round challenge that can be found in Phonics 1B consonant sounds. So this is what the world record speed round challenge would look like. But before we do this, let's go to the beginning and show you how you can find these. So I'm going to click on the contents button. This is the main menu for the program. And I'm clicking on the help button to turn off the instructions there for right now. We're going to turn those back on in a minute. So if we start with our table of contents, we can click on our consonants. And we don't see a speed round challenge there. But all of the other activities have the world record speed round challenge. And so we can see that we've completed this one to a score of 17, which is good. This one we haven't completed. And this one we haven't completed. We could also click on the star button and go to our superstar page. Here we can click on our speed round button and then we can go to one of the speed rounds. So let's go ahead and try one out and I'll click on this one. And um, now notice that we don't have any instructions. So let's turn the instructions back on. Welcome to the speed round. First, we'll give you a word in the middle of the screen. Then you click on the word below that starts with the same consonant and makes the same consonant sound. Move your mouse over the box in the middle of the screen if you want to hear the word again. Get as many correct answers as you can in one minute. Click on start to begin. Okay, our goal is 15 or higher and we're going to click on start. We have one minute to complete this speed round. Goat. Jim. Kitten. Jam. Hammer. Goat. Jam. Jim. Kite. Kitten. Jam. Game. Jim. Hammer. Horse. Game. Jim. Jam. Kitten. Horse. Gentle. Jim. Game. Jam. Goat. Jam. Kitten. Jim. All right, you earned the first place trophy. Click the trophy to see your achievements. Okay, we completed the speed round. And actually we set a world record. So that's good. Now we can click on the trophy icon and we see our score and the date. And then we can click on print and we could print out this trophy certificate. We did pretty well on this. So I'm going to click back on, we'll click here to exit this. And uh, here's the other players that have played. And uh, we also notice that we have class and then we have school. So we're the highest in our class. We're highest in our school, state, country, and we have the highest score in the whole world right now. So hopefully one of the other folks will come along and beat us and then we'll see how this all plays out over several months. Now a couple of things I want to point out to you. Let's go ahead and go back to the table of contents and turn off the instructions. So the idea is that the program set up with a song or learn the consonants, then the speed round, and then the soccer game. So ideally what we would want to do is spend time here in our learn the consonants BCDF. And let me click on go. And then we have Boy. a picture of the word. Boy. We have, have the word B -oy. sounds that make up the word. Bike. B I. Comb. 
Oh. Mm. So we would go through all the words and learn the words before playing the speed round. So at the end, we see a speed round button. And then that would take us to this speed round. Looks like we've played this before. And we have a score of 17, which is good. We can look at our leaderboard. And we can see that we're number four in the world. And in the country, United States, we're four. In our state, we're four. In our school, we're number one. In our class, we've got the record in our class. Let's go back. And what I want to show you is uh, we have our song. We have our learn the words. And then we also have a speed round button down here at the bottom of the learn the words. So that's another way that you can get to the speed round. So up here at the top, we have a button. So if I click this toggle over here, then what it does is it goes back to our old speed rounds. And uh, so there's no longer any kind of leaderboard. And that's really made for kids that don't like that kind of competition. Um, they don't have to see the leaderboard. So you can turn that off. But we think that the world record speed round challenge is going to be a great activity for a lot of kids. It's going to encourage them to spend more time in our learn the words and give them a sense of competition and achievement as they try and try and try and work their way up the leaderboard and hopefully they attain the world record speed round challenge first place and get their certificate that they print out.